All right, I'm just warming up here because I'm kind of tight. Jens and I, you know, I think I could speak for Jens. Our career has been really, well, our lives have been so blessed. The journey that Frisbee took us on, you know, all the different countries that we were able to travel, all the different people we were able to meet, just all the different things, the doors that Frisbee opened to us. But more importantly than that, it's, it was that we were able to share this together as brothers. Um, it, was, it was just an awesome journey. Um, that I shared with Jens, and I, I, I can't even, it's almost indescribable how to describe what that was, those years, and uh, we, we did it together, you know? And one of the things on the last question you asked, the philosophical question was, for me, um, it was a spiritual journey. Well, okay, uh, my friend Kevin Harper, he knocked on my door and introduced me to Ultimate. That's my, uh, the spring semester of my freshman year in, at Glassboro State College. So then I got my younger brother, who's four years younger than me, I got him interested. And he started a Ultimate team at his high school. And so since he's four years behind me, you know, we weren't together until the summer. And that summer, um, you know, we just played Ultimate in our town, all you know, pick up ultimate with high school kids the whole summer. And the following year, uh, our second, you know, second year of me playing uh, at Glassboro State College, we started a whole season of playing other teams. And that spring, there was a big tournament in New Brunswick called the Octet Tournament. It was eight events. And my friend Kevin told me, "Hey, there's going to be guys there from all over the country um, at this tournament." They're the best guys in the world. In fact, uh, a few months earlier, there was a big article in Sports Illustrated, eight pages. And, you know, that was 40 years ago. Yeah. 40 in the 40 years since, there's, there hasn't been eight pages on frisbee in Sports Illustrated. So that's how big it was back then. There was these two guys that were doing halftime shows for Globe, Globe, Harlem Globetrotters. So, so we went to see these guys uh, play from Michigan, from Canada, from California, from Whammo, from everywhere. And we were just uh, blown away by what we saw. You know, back then it was just trick throws and trick catches and some tipping. But to see, to see all that in one place in New Brunswick was, was pretty awesome. And the thing was, the very next week we were leaving for a family trip to Peru where I was born. And we were there the whole summer. So we took like 30 Frisbees and just played Frisbee the whole time in, in, in Peru, wherever we went. So that was our kind of like our indoctrination to the sport of Frisbee. Of the back burner, let it sit. Don't even get it lit. Don't hold back. Get involved with. 
the jam, don't be a prick. Hot chick, be a prick. Don't.